Hey guys, Mike Taylor, broker owner, Red Door Property Management. Today we are bringing you the rental market report for Westfield, Indiana for September, 2023. So um, if you watch this channel at all, you know this is one of my favorite markets and it is all systems go in Westfield. Uh, it is still killing it this year. Uh, everything is on an upward trend. The average rent is on the upward trend, days on the market. Um, if you've been watching this, we kind of had a bit of a blip uh, over the last two months where we had really unusually high days on the market in Westfield. So. I don't know if it's just some weird data or what, but thankfully that is coming back down to uh, what I think is a very reasonable and seasonal, seasonally adjusted days in the market. And uh, also we track the sales price. So sales prices are going up as well. So if you own uh, if you own in Westfield, that's great news for you. You're realizing some appreciation. If you're looking to buy, that presents a little bit of a challenge because prices do kind of keep ticking up because it is such a strong market. So without further ado, let's take a look at the numbers for Westfield. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the uh, Westfield, Indiana rental market report for uh, September 2023. Um, the uh, Again, it's, it's just all good news here in September. Um, the average uh, rent is at 23.33, which is up 14% from, uh, from September of 2022, up almost 4% from uh last month that sh that should say uh august but uh up four percent from august and it looks you, again you kind of get this sneak peek here it's going to trend even higher in uh in october so every month this year we've seen a year over year increase which is great because we already saw a huge increase uh last year so westfield just kind of continues to be on a tear um 86 day or 86 homes uh, actively on the market right now it's pretty sustainable average days on the market it's pretty good for this this time of year 38 days on the market a little bit higher than what we'd like to see um but you know it is out of the the peak of the leasing season really wrapping it up in september so i'm going to keep an eye on this i don't i don't love that being at 38 but uh it's not out of control like in indy it's 50 something and we saw it get up to 120 something so uh, this, if you've been watching this uh, channel, you you have seen this for some reason over the last two months was wildly high for Westfield. And it didn't make sense based on the fundamentals of the market. So I'm glad to see this return to a little bit of a, a, a normalcy here. Hopefully it will it will continue that. But I mean, look at how wild this was in September of 2022. That's up a thousand percent. I don't even know what it was, but it must have been, you know, five days on the market or something like that when it was just absolutely wild last year. Um, and you can see here, look, it's down almost 50% from, from last month. So I don't know what happened, uh, last couple of months, maybe just some, some weird numbers in there, but this feels right. It feels more, more correct based on the fundamentals of this market. Um, so if we jump over to average sales price, again, we cap this at, uh, under $500,000 because we're looking at this from an investor's point of view, or we don't want to include those high end homes that are there in Westfield that aren't necessarily uh, investor friendly. So of all homes under $500,000, the average sales price 398, 355. And there's 93 of those that sold last month. So a good, a good amount are selling um, at that price point. And uh, this is good news or bad news depending on um, depending on whether you own or whether you're looking to buy but uh, the, the prices, the home prices in Westfield just continue to tick up. Um, and this is kind of a trend really um, really indie-wide and nationwide. Although Indies, Indianapolis is always a little bit different. So I think theirs is technically down slightly, but for the most part, you're you're seeing less activity. But because the inventory is so tight, you are still seeing um, you are still seeing prices kind of slowly tick up. So uh, this is up almost say 10% from September of 2022, and up 4% uh, from last month. So prices, I don't think, are going anywhere anytime soon. Um, that's kind of the, the general consensus uh, as we kind of try to figure out this high interest rate environment and how that's going to happen. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like prices are going to come crashing down or anything like that. Not not here in Indy. Maybe uh, maybe other areas, Vegas, Portland, uh, Phoenix, things like that. But um, Indy, we're pretty stable here, so I don't see a huge market correction coming. So anyway, those are the numbers for uh, Westfield, Indiana real estate and uh, rental market report for September 2023. Uh, check out our other ones. We're doing one in Indy, Noblesville, Fishers, and Avon this month. So check out the uh, the other market reports because it's pretty crazy how different they are when you look at these different submarkets. So thanks, and uh, we'll see you next month.